In just under a month, the World University Games will kick off in Russia, with two table tennis players helping to fly the flag for the University of Melbourne. Barak Mizrachi and Tim Nguyen have been named in the UniRu's squad for the Games to be held in Kazan July 6 to 17. They'll be joined from Melbourne by tennis player Sam Thompson and badminton rep Luke Chong. For Tim, one of the university's 260 elite athletes, the call he got from the national team wasn't one he was expecting. Yeah, I was pretty excited. Uh, don't know if I expect it or not, but um, it would be the, the highest level competition I've been at, although I've represented Australia before as a junior and at youth levels, so yeah, it's not my first time representing my country, but once again, it's always an honour to represent your country. Table tennis is one of 13 compulsory sports at the World University Games and has been on the program like that since 2007. Tim and Barak will be amongst those trying to knock off the Chinese team who won all the gold medals at the 2011 competition. China are just the best in the world as they prove time and time again. Uh, other Asian countries like Korea and Japan are very strong. Europe's historically very strong. It's a truly global sport. Like you have over 200 member countries of the ITTF and yeah, there's good players all around the world. It's pretty tough. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a really tough ask. Uh, we just look to give a good uh, impression of ourselves, but yeah, it's the toughest level that all of us have played at. And um, if we get you know, through a few rounds, we'd be pretty happy. For Barack, the Games will be a history-making trip as he becomes the first athlete with a disability to compete at the event. It shouldn't matter if you have a disability or not. If you're good enough, you should be good enough. I know that there's an Australian female player who's got a disability. She went to the London Paralympics. She's in the, she was just recently in the national team. If you're good enough, you're good enough. There shouldn't be a segregation based on a, having a disability. Marika de Cruz is Melbourne University Sports Elite Athlete Program Coordinator. An Olympic swimmer and a former World Uni rep herself, she says the Melbourne athletes are in for an amazing time. It's a competitive international level and again every sport's different but I went a couple of years ago for swimming and it was very competitive. Um, they had it in China and they had basically their Chinese uh, World Championships team there competing um, minus a few key players but it's definitely a stepping stone and whilst not as competitive as the Olympics because obviously only university students can compete, it's a great um, opportunity for athletes to practice competing at an international level. The spirit of competition is a great experience to um, to have when you're an athlete and it, it is like a mini Olympics or a Commonwealth Games type experience and everyone goes and has fun, you get to eat with each other in the uh, food hall and yeah it's just a great experience all around. Barack, who after Russia will head straight to the Maccabee Games in Israel, already has one eye on going a step further to the Olympics. I can't see myself ever stopping playing. Obviously I've got the World Uni Games as an immediate thing and then immediately after that I'm going to try and qualify for the Rio Paralympics. So that's the first thing on the horizon, but uh, just to keep playing as well as I can and to just keep, you know, as long as I keep enjoying it, I'll keep playing it.